My name is Mahogany L. Brown, and I will be reading a poem today for you. Um, it's something new I wrote, and I hope you like it. I found a bottle of amoxicillin, and it became the lottery. I found myself crying over a poem I didn't write, and what kind of God releases such a storm in the form of poems? I'm so sick with it. I thought the rapture was a reality show. I'm so ill to the bone, I phone my mother twice a day just to make sure her cough is cigarette induced. Screenshot my still photo laughter on Thursday, post it next Monday. I'm so trill. I figure it's time to study the human resilience in the form of photos. When will it ever be real again? Unforced FaceTimes and brunch for the sake of spending money on syrup-rich French toast. I hate today. I hate today. I hate today because it reminds me that I didn't remember to love the days when I could run for a train and only fear missing my meeting. It reminds me I better watch where I step or, ooh, rats. It reminds me wipe the poles on the subway train uptown. Martial law blinks in the near distance like an on-air sign and I still got the luxury of shelter and home where I wait to pay rent and fix my own toilets with El Diablo. A name so fitting, you want to say it twice. Call in all the ghosts. Pretend you never wanted to kill a thing before. Two. Or, this is just a love letter. To the sturdy sound of my toilet gurgling back alive, this is just a love note. To the centipede that stretch all its legs against my clean, bleached walls just to die, just to hear me sigh. This is just a love note to my breath. I am everything my grandmother wanted me to be and more. I am a reason to drink a glass of champagne on the living room floor. Flirt with myself in the reflection as my friends giggle on Zoom. So loud, it sounds like a daily 7 p.m. applause for the healthcare workers on the front line. This is a love note to the front line. This is a love letter to the sublime. This is a love text to my friends who check on me when I go radio silent. Who never let me think I am alone in the silence. Love to those that give when there is so much light lacking. This is a yes and a thank you and I adore you so much more than the days of documentaries. Love to love you, sunstroked marathon. I think I can find a killer. I think I can birth a baby. I think I know when the next earthquake is coming. I think I know how they'll fix the election again. How I love to love this moment, the way I stretch like a plant, no, a cactus, turning ever so slightly towards that which would want me gone. How I love to love this moment and not care about anything more than my ability to breathe through both nostrils and the lungs in my chest are clear. Praise the eucalyptus, praise the ginger, praise the mothers that boiled and soaked and prepared us for this damning, this rebirth. I'm a home. I'm a home. I'm a home with no idea of when my next outing, brunch, concert will be. But I am lucky to know what alive means. And I know I still got work to do.